What's up, my favorite people, my soul fam, my shining stars? Hope you're shining bright, not letting anybody dim that light. <laughs> my name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do, all your love, your support, your positive energy. Just thank for just thank you for rocking with me. Cause I know that is is you know, I'm in and out. I do my health journeys and everything. Um, I'm not as consistent as other readers, but you still been rocking with me, and I just want to thank you for that. Thank you for your support. Um, I keep moving on in spite of all the things that I have to go through um, with my health challenges, but we're almost done. I'm telling you, I've been doing the work, guys. I've been putting in the work, and, um, w you know, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And I could do it with your support, with your positive energy and um, your emails, your your. Uh, positive words and just always being there so thanks um new subscribers welcome to the family welcome i'm honored and thank you thank you so much um hit the bell for those those of you who have not hit the bell hit the bell so you can always know what's up all right oh sorry about that got interrupted don't even know where i stopped i think i'm on um, hit the bell if you want to know what's going on with the channel. All right, donations. Thank you for thank you for those who donated. For those who want to donate, go to the description up description box. And those who are thinking about donating, um, just know that this is good ground. Um, you will you shall reap what you sow. It's an in energy exchange. So definitely spirit is involved in the energy exchange. So just know that if you do, you will get it. You will reap what you sow. So be it. It is so ashe. All right. So if you're vibing with me right now, even though I'm trying to get myself back because I was interrupted. <clears throat> if you're vibing with me, go ahead on and click the subscribe button because this is energy and energy don't lie. And if you're vibing and you feeling some feeling a uh, positive surge, feeling some energy here positively, this is the place for you. Okay, welcome. Go on ahead and subscribe. All right. Not doing any personal readings, guys. If anybody reach out to you, say they're me from this channel, whatever. It's not me. Okay, I'm not doing any personal readings. Um, my, uh, the energy here, I'm an energy reader. I read the energy. I, uh, I am a channeler. I download what spirit wants to say, what my spirit guides want to tell you, what the spiritual realm want to tell you. I can download those things. Um, if you're new here, you have never been to this channel, go to the description box. All of the information is there. If you have any questions, hit me up. I will hit you back. Um, energy can flow vice versa. Either way, it is your job to fit it in where it gets in. All right. All right. Let me try to get back on track here because I was in the mode here and I got <laughs> interrupted. I hate that. All right. We're going to get the roll on. So we are honoring the sign of Taurus. Bam. There it is, Taurus. All right. Taurus. What am I feeling? Nice. Flowing energy. Good times. Laughter. Fun. Family. Friends. Coming out of depression, coming out of a bad state, coming out of a bad, a bad time, a bad breakup, coming out of grief, 
moving on, finally moving on, finally moving on to be happy, to be free. Wanting, wanting new love, expecting new love, going towards new love, opening yourself up to new love. All right. So, what we get, what I'm getting out of though, what I'm getting out of that is, uh, Taurus. Some of you have been had been going through a hard time. You have moved out of that energy. You've moved on. You're ready to go on a new beginning, a new journey. You've healed. Um, from a diff difficult time and a difficult cycle, you have ended and now you're ready to open up for new adventure, new opportunities, new doors, whether it's love, whether it's finances, wh whether it is um, career, job, you're ready to venture off in a new direction, uh, positive direction, and you are leaving behind, leaving your past behind once and for all. And Spirit is wanting you to know that you have the angelic realm backing you, backing your decision, and you, um, and they want to say thank you for listening. Thank you for allowing them to lead God and direct you. Thank you for being open and letting your stubborn, stubborn sides, put your stubbornness aside and finally listen and allow them to take the lead and lead you out of darkness. Bam! And there it is. All right. Good job, Taurus. All right. So what we're we talking about today, guys? Blocked. 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 We're talking about somebody has blocked someone. Now, could it be you that blocked somebody, or did somebody block you? But somebody blocked somebody. And we're getting ready to find out what's going on with that person since they was blocked. And how are they really doing since they've been blocked? And how do they feel at this time? Or should I say, how do they feel at this time without you? Okay. We got messages. Uh, we got right here. We're going we gonna to find out the tea. This is the tea because this is the tea leaf. We're going to get the tea. Then we got additional information. We got um, the we have the initials and we got charms and then we got some messages. I was supposed to draw an advice card, but I didn't. So we gonna go with it. This is the overall energy. So let's read. Overall energy is change. Okay. All right. So what I'm getting from this is that. Okay, what I'm getting from this is change. This is something similar to what I just said here. Um, someone, I don't know if it's you, Taurus, or if it's the other person. Someone is seeking change. Someone is demanding change in their life. We got a nine here. Somebody has is, is seeking fulfillment. They want personal fulfillment. They want um, intimate fulfillment. They want physical fulfillment all around them. They want things to change. They want whatever they've been manifesting to come to reality. They want fruition. They want to obtain um, the. They want to attain their dreams, their goals. They want to obtain the things that they think that that they feel that has been blocked from them. That they the delayed for them. They they the obstacles. They are demanding. This is not, this here is not an um, energy of just, a, just let's, let's just, no. This is demanding change. There, This is a catalyst for change. Something has happened that has caught, oh, we're talking about blockages. Oh, okay. So, something has happened that has caused a change, has a domino effect. Something has been the catalyst of change in someone's life. Now, 
What I just got when I said, oh, is that when you blocked this person, I'm saying you, it could be you or it could be the other person. Whoever you is, okay? Because you blocked. And when you blocked this person and you walked away from this person and you turned away from this person, you stopped talking to this person, you became the catalyst of change for this person. This person is demanding change. They're, they have they got their wake-up call. Their mind is stirring with possibilities, things that they've never thought about doing. They are moving and shaking and moving and shaking into areas of their life that they never even thought that they can move or they can shake. This was a type of person that they was comfortable being at one place. They was comfortable at being this particular person. Everybody knew this person. This person was the same all the time. This person never changed. Wherever their comfort zone was, that's where they stayed. This particular person is moving out of that. Because when you block whoever you is, whoever you is, when you blocked this person, it made them see things from a different perspective. And that's all this person needed to see things from a different perspective to create real change, not superficial change, real change, real change. Something is changing in this person's life. People is watching this person change and they're dumbfounded, bewildered, trying to figure out what happened. Why is this person acting like this? What made the people are in awe. People are in shock that this person is doing some of the things that they're doing. This person could have been, um, let's just say for instance, this person was a drinker and they drunk all the time. This person stopped drinking. Let's just say this person smoked all the time. They stopped smoking or they died down. If they drink, they maybe drink one drink. And if they go out with friends, they may hold that drink all night long. People not used to that. They try to keep buying this person drinks and this person won't drink it. This person is changing. Whoever, you, you block this person, but this person, when you block them, and when I say blocked, I mean blocked. Block me when I'm talking about here. When I'm talking about block here, I'm not talking about just social media. I'm talking about when you block this person, you block the their the social media, the phone, your energy, your uh, your time, your effort. You don't spend. You don't even think about this person. Cause when you think about someone, that's energy. That this person felt your block so much so that they knew that if they didn't make major changes within themselves that they would never ever see you again and that's that this has caused this person to make major difficult changes that people places and things around them is bewildered they trying to understand they they scratching their head they trying to figure things out this person refuses to go back to that dark side, this person refuses to to um, uh, be toxic and, and stay in toxic ways. This person is changing their life. They're getting more healthy. They're doing healthy things. They're working out. They're eating right. They watching what they uh, the people they're around, where they go, the places they go. This person is changing, and I mean a major U-Haul of change, a upheaval of change. Because this person changed, the people around them is in an uproar, upheaval. Because this person not doing and being the person that these people want him, want them to be in. All right? That's the overall energy is change, major change, major transformation. All right? All because, we ain't even got to this, all because you blocked them and you were serious about it.
okay? <laughs> Older woman. <laughs> Firecracker. Spiritual love. Sunrise. Staff. Tortoise. Key. All right, so what I'm getting out of this is that <laughs> oh boy okay first of all this is a divine connection a divine it's a divine connection it could be twin flame it could be soulmate it could be a life partner it could be kindred spirits it could be um but something divine okay what you believe is a spiritual or divine connection. That's what this is, first of all. Okay. And that's why what I just said about change here, that's why it, when you block this person, and I, whoever you is, when you block this person, that's why this person felt the way they did. Because this was a spiritual connection. When you have a spiritual connection with someone, whatever the other person do within the connection, it changes the flow. It changes the dynamics of the connection. If the person um, who was chasing someone stopped chasing and turned their attention to, on to someone else and started dating someone else and, and have their mind, their focus and attention and effort on someone else, the person in this divine connection is going to feel that and know that and feel the loss of the other person's energy in the connection. Kind of what happened here. When you block and whoever you is, when you block them, they felt the loss. They felt like they lost you forever. You, they had you. They had your energy. They had. They had access to you. They had astral travel. They had sexual energy. They had all of that within your energy. They can flow. They can focus. They didn't have to give you their time and their effort. They had your energy. So they can still go out and be with other people, these other women, or stay with a karmic, or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is that they was doing, they could continue to do that and still have you. But when you blocked them, they felt the loss. And it changed the dynamics of this connection. Period. Point blank and period. That is it. Okay. Now, this may have something to do with it because it's an older woman. Now, we're talking about, we say woman, this could be an older man, right? Female or ma uh, male or female. But whoever this is was older, okay? Um, I'm thinking that in this divine connection, uh, it was an age difference. And that could have had something to do with it. This person loved them, which we said is a spiritual connection. We know that there was love within the connection. But this person didn't take... Uh, this person here did not take this person seriously because this person was older than them. And this person was still wanting to go out and do what they do or be who they was going to be with and thought that this person, this, wide, this older person, was going to wait around, which the older person probably did, okay? But that thought that this person was going to wait around and was going to just keep on opening up and keep on giving them their energy but this person didn't do that they moved on and when they moved on bam the firecracker it created a tower it, it, it created this big old event in this person turmoil an event in this person's life because without this person in their energy field without this energy without this 
this love, without this compassion, without this energy that's that's uh, holding this other person up, this person wouldn't be able to function because this person here was holding this person up. This person was older, wiser, spiritual, right? This particular person here still needed to change. They needed to change their mind, their body, their soul, and their spirit. They had work that they had to do. They didn't want to do the work and they wanted to stay complacent and do what they wanted to do. They knew they loved this person. But they what would their family and friends say if they would actually be with this person? This person don't look like nothing that, you know, that I would be with. You know, this person is older. Even though I'm attracted to them and I love them and this is the divine love, what would my family and friends say? So this person was didn't want to change based off what people was going to say. Okay? So this person moved on. Okay? Um, moved on. It caused a big, big turmoil, big old tower moment in this person's life. This person had to make some personal decisions. It took them a while to change but this person still moved on because you got sunshine right this person moved on they know who they are just because they're older doesn't mean that they old you know this person moved on dating finding other people you know living their life you know sunshine sunshine having new new ideas new ventures a fresh start this person moved on and had and, and started something new okay or if they didn't start something new with someone they have a fresh start with life they're happy they're successful they feel free they feel abundant they're not uh grieving and and going through all of this because a divine connection can make you feel that way when you're not with that person or that you're not with them and they're not with you, it, ma it makes you feel like um, you can't go on without them or you can't move and you're stuck and you got to be with them. No, if, if it's not working, you have to find your own happiness. You have to find life is too short. You can't stay around stuck and, and woulda, coulda, shoulda and boo hoo here and there. You can't do that. You have to live your life. Because you never know what day or hour you're going to be gone. And you're wasting your time and effort on someone who is living their life. Even though it's toxic, they still live in their life based off of their choices. So you can't do that. So this person moved on, right? They had a hard time. This person had a hard time, but they moved on. They took care, they picked themselves up, took care of themselves in difficult, difficult times. When you are in a spiritual connection, it's very, very difficult. Very difficult. It's not easy at all. You know, so this this person knew it was a, a age difference. She, th this person knew whether it's a male or a female, knew that this person was playing games. They wouldn't be honest. So this person had enough. Okay, slow process. This person was waiting on this person. This person was making, was breadcrumbing and making slow processes and uh, slowly moving towards this person. Like they had all the time in the world. Like this person could just wait, putting this person on the sidebar, you know, manipulating this person, thinking that this person was going to wait wait until they got ready to come in and make an offer or tell it or work things out but now things have changed this person has blocked this person and this person is making doing what is required this person is changing okay this person is no longer the same like i said they don't if they was a drunk they drink one drink and they nurse that drink all night long when they out with their friends. Their friends be begging them to drink. If this person smoke, they stop smoking. They may smoke cigarettes or they may smoke something different. Totally changed. 
If this person was a materialistic person, this person is starting to save their money, make goals and dreams, um, make goals and try to find positive ways to spend their money, um, to make their money work for them, right? This person has changed. And I, I mean, I don't know what is what who this person is. I don't know what they thing is, but whatever it is, it's the opposite of who they are now based off of the loss that occurred through this moment when you, whoever you is, blocked this person. Because now everything has changed and the only thing this person can think about is the key. How, how can I get the key? When I get the key, will it fit the lock to her heart? Will it fit the lock to his heart? How can I get access to her? How can I get access to him? How can I get back? How can I get back to my person who is my divine counterpart, who I admit is my divine counterpart? It's no more hiding. It's no more pretending. It's no more breadcrumbing. I want to be real. I'm channeling now. I want to be real with you. I want to tell you the truth. I want to tell you that I love you. I want to commit. I want to put a ring on it. I want to put a bracelet on it. I want to put a necklace on it. I want to put some jewelry on it, whatever you want. I want to be able to position myself to give you your wants, your desires, your needs. I want to meet your needs, mind, body, soul, spirit. I am at your service. I have learned my lesson. I was wrong. I was wrong as two left shoes. I have placed my pride, put it to the side. And you know what? I'm going to fix this situation. First, I'm going to fix me. I've been working on me and I'm fixing me. But you know what? I'm definitely, 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 without a shadow of a doubt, once I fix me, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Because you deserve the best. The best part of me. You've already got the worst part of me. But I'm willing to give you the best part of me. I got a few more things that I need to work out. A few more things that I need to work towards. Before I come towards you. But you, I am coming. I'm, you are my world. You, you, are what, you are what makes me happy. What makes me complete. I tried living without you. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't fit. And not all these other women, all these other men, they're not you. I don't want them. They're not you. And I am absolutely in love with you. All right. We're going to move on. The additional. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Okay, so your additional information is just what I just got through saying. <laughs> this person wants to be loyal and committed to you. The dog is about loyalty and wants to commit to you, want to be supportive, want to play a supportive role in your life, um, want to be your friend, want to hold your hand. On a rainy day, when things are bad, things are tough. Because things ain't going to always be... Things ain't going to always be happy. And, you know, things are not going to always be, you know, ro roses and sunshine. It's not. But this person is, is wanting to be there by your side in those times and make sure... That you're supported and you feel safe and you feel loved. This person has changed. And what did I say? This person is wanting to put a ring on it. They want marriage. 
They want a commitment and not just something just not no commitment, you know, where you tied into a relationship and they they don't can't get it right. No, no, no. This energy this energy right here is a lifetime commitment. Uh, when I say commitment, I mean committed and committed only to you. This person has had enough of flings and one night stands and hoeing and and uh strip clubs and paying for sex and threesomes and all that stuff. They this person and had enough of that. This person wants the real deal and wants the real deal with you. The energy is deep up in here. It's deep. It's deep. They want to make agreement, a contract, a partnership with you. A power couple. They want to make you a promise. They want to bond with you. They want to be a faithful companion to you. Faithful companion. Because they know that that means a lot to you, being faithful and committed. All right. All right, so we got messages. This is for anybody who clicked on here. If this part didn't resonate or what, maybe these messages will. And I put all my messages that I have together so anything could be up in here. We got initials up in here. We got um, M. <laughs> M, um, first name, middle initial, last name. Um, no, it's J. Sorry, not M. J. Okay. Wow. James, um, Junior, Jimmy, Jacob, Joseph, Jonah, Jeremy, Justin, Jeffrey, uh, John, Jamal, Janet, Jack, Jackie. Jamila, Julia, Jennifer, Jasmine, Janice, Jordan, Joanne, and Jessica. And then we have P. Okay. And we have Paul, Parrish, Patrick, Percy, Peter, Philip, Presley, Pruitt, uh, Poncho, Prescott, Patricia, uh, Pamela, Paris, Patricia, uh, I think Patricia twice. Oh, that's Patrice. So Patrice, Paula, Peyton, Paulette, Peaches, Phyllis, and Priscilla. Okay, so somebody want to tell you they loving you. They love you. They loving you. They loving on you. They want to love on you. They want to put something on you. Something, something to that fact. Okay, they want you to know that. They want you to catch, catch that, that message. Okay, what else we got? They want you to know that you are one of a kind, okay? The karmic can forget it. I'm gone. So somebody is leaving their karmic. They're coming towards you. They want to let you know that you're one of a kind. They don't want anybody else but you. They can't find anybody else like you. You you are just one of a kind. You're the GOAT, the greatest of all time. All right? I'm going crazy over you. I think of you day and night. So somebody is obsessing over you. All right. So um, with this type of message, you need to be careful. Um, you know who you're dealing with. Um, we can go. We can go all the way down to somebody is just obsessing. They just think about you all the time. They that puppy love. They just want to be with you. Just hold your hand to all the way. Going crazy, obsessing about you. Driving by your house. Driving by your your. Um, your job, leaving you flowers, leaving you flowers on the deck, um, knocking on your door and not being there, you know, just this all kind, calling you, hanging up, all kind of crazy stuff. So just be careful. Someone is obsessing over you and thinking about you. They can't get you out of your mind, out of their mind. Okay, we got a spirit message here. Spirit said, you are not an option. You are a queen. Act like it. And that queen could be a king, okay? So, spirit says, stop it. You are not an option. So, stand up. Stand in your truth and act like it. 
all right i just sit and think about you i can't get you out of my mind so here we go again somebody is really really thinking of thinking about someone um wanting wanted to be with this person and also i'm getting someone is sitting up and thinking obsessing over what went wrong in a relationship where they went wrong um and trying to figure out uh trying to heal somebody is grieving over the the damage that they've done in a relationship and they're trying to heal and obsessively thinking about this person that they really realized that they truly love and treated badly and they wish they hadn't treated them badly but now they've done the damage is done and this person is grieving if you could see yourself through my eyes, you would know how much I love you. So somebody really is in love. Someone wants to let you know that they're really, really in love with you, really want you, um, really desire you. So if you're clicked on here and you're really on here um, dealing with a Taurus or you clicked on here and a Taurus and you wondering if somebody really do love you, they do. They really do love you. And someone is, I am so jealous over you. Someone is jealous um, over you. So you may have um, an ex who is looking at you, stalking you, wanting you back, and you have moved on. You have moved on and made a happy transition with someone else. And this person is sitting back in the um in the uh sitting back in the cut looking at you wishing and hoping and praying that they can get you back if this if you and this person will break up would you take them back wanting wishing and hoping and praying um and just so envious and jealous of this person that had that you have transitioned and moved on to this person is has uh the evil eyes and an evil um thoughts and word curses and different things but when you do stuff like that you got to be careful because um you may be connected to a divine love you don't know who this person is connecting to and you're sending out all of this negativity to towards someone and all you're doing is turning that negative back to you and wondering why things are not happening for you why things are not open why the doors are not opening up for you why bad things are happening to you bad things are happening to you because you keep continually uh projecting negative and negativity and wishing harm on someone else so what spirit does is do a domino effect because what you pour out is turn around and being poured upon you so that's where you need to understand that you just can't do what you want to do to people instead of being jealous and 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 I understand that's hurtful you're hurt but take your hurt and pain and deal with it by yourself and don't bring anybody else in it this is your issue your pain and your hurt is your issue it's not the other person so deal with your issues all right so, the last lead we have here, okay, so, okay, all right, so we have here, we have trust, we have inspire, we have blessed, we have beautiful, we have dream, we have grace, we have faith. I think that's the last one of those. Okay, so what this is, it says someone um, has trust issues and they're trying to get over these trust issues. They're trying to work on themselves. They're trying to come out of that um, that negative mindset about trusting someone and having somebody trust them. Um, they're looking at you and and you inspire them. They look at you. They know that you're blessed. You're you you are such a blessing to them. That you are absolutely beautiful. They dream about you. They want your forgiveness, and they're having faith. They're standing in their faith. They're praying. They're seeking the divine as to how to um, come to you in a respectful way and to honor you as uh, the person that you deserve to be honored for and to be. 
this person wants to message you that's a um, envelope um here's the cat somebody has a cat or loves cat cats here's a um a um lobster or a crab this is a crab that's uh uh pisces and cancer with that crab we have um, somebody is um maybe wealthy or on the road to be being wealthy um we have uh the tree of life there's spirituality here we have here we go with water again water has been very significant with the seahorse it's water crab water we have fish here fish is about wealth but again that's in water somebody is really emotional right now really in their feels um their heart is is really really beating really beating for someone really wanting somebody somebody is suffering in silence about how they feel for someone um we have yeah the cross again somebody is really really hurting um uh, this is a gun somebody is protected or trying to protect their feelings trying to protect their thoughts trying to protect themselves protect their energy or for a small few somebody is suicidal okay so watch out for that here's transformation we have two um two butterflies so one person is starting their transformation and someone is evolving they have transformed transform and now they are evolving we have the angels here we have um the sun so very positive energy someone here's another angel someone within this catch uh, connection is very spiritual and very um uh very very connected to the divine and the spiritual realm we have believe someone is trying everything within them to believe in themselves and believe in the connection we have um a witch here this could be um not black magic but um it could very well be um uh, uh witchy vibes like um uh, uh white magic or um positive or you know just um when i get this because i'm not feeling dark i'm feeling light i'm feeling um all i can say about this i'm not feeling dark i'm feeling light so um with that it could be um white magic okay because everything's not dark but i'm not feeling dark with that okay um someone wants to wine and dine and take someone out here's music to go out and listen to some music maybe some jazz music here's music again someone wants to take someone out maybe to hear some jazz um you could have a family with this person already or um they want to have a family with you. This person wants to anchor in. I mean, this means commitment. They want to stay in your life. They want to anchor in with you. That's an anchor. Um, that heart is open up. Here's the star. They um, wishing upon a star um, to have you back. Um, the key. They want the key to your heart. Here's, again, here's a rocking chair kids is significant here maybe you have kids maybe somebody's pregnant maybe someone wants to get somebody pregnant something about the fall here here's children again very significant someone must have kids <clears throat> and is worried about bringing kids back uh, in a, in this connection um star here's the star again hold on a minute <coughs> Let me drink some water. Okay. Okay. Here's the rose. Somebody want to give somebody some roses. Here's a dog. Here again, a dog again. Faithful. Faithful companion. Somebody wants to be faithful. They want to open their heart and be free to trust. Open their heart. Trust uh, they trust the process. Okay. 
Okay, so we got, oh, the bicycle as well. Somebody is trying to get healthy, get their body tight, get their body right. Okay, they're riding bikes. So we got Y, we got X. It could be your ex, want some sex. A, we got Y, we got Z. <clears throat> we got U, we got H, we got N, we got N, we got Y. Um, some kind of unique sign where um, every they, somebody wants to collab with you. We got Q. They want to collab with you. And this here is a some kind of a um, some some kind of wild animal. With this, somebody is really um, desiring, <clears throat> compassion, passionate about you. They think that they have wild dreams and wild fantasies about you, getting you um, um, alone. And I, I need to put this one out because I can't read it. But anyway, so Taurus, this has been your reading. <clears throat> All right. I hope you got something out of it. I try to make it diverse so you can get something from out of it. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, hit the uh, comments and let me know. If you it didn't ca quite resonate, but you did enjoy the reading, give me an emoji. Let me know that you're rocking with me, okay? So I can see the time. All right. So, um... So hit the comments. If you like it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. No matter. It helps the channel. Share, 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 subscribe. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, in the description box. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for cl clicking the buttons, clicking the bells. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> Something is in my throat. Um clicking the bell i'm sending love i'm sending healing your way and trinity is 